it to this hair. I am gonna separate it into fours. Then after I do that, I separate it like my four and the two and work my way from the bottom up. So I'm using new products. Now, this Not Your Mother's, I started with their leave-in because leave-in is a necessity for me. I have to put in a leave-in. Leave-in, I tried it and I really, really liked it. So I decided to try the rest of the collection. So I also have Curl Talk Defining Cream and Curl Talk Sculpting Gel. I, my hair is dry, so I'm all about the moisture and I only want to wash my hair once in a week. I just wanted to try something to, new. I'm usually always using pattern, I'm always using melanin and I have videos on my routines with those. I will link them for you guys to see, but wish me luck y'all. Some experimenting with some new stuff is always tricky, but worst case scenario, I can always fix it. What is happening? Oh, okay, it's a little stiff. I used it in a while. Just leaving it in. Oh, and I always, always, always finish with my um. Oh my God, what is it called? Wet Line Extreme Gel. This is gonna be one of my first wash and goes without the Wet Line Extreme. That never happens. But see how these curls pop on this conditioner it look good with the tea on it now i'm gonna add some cream on top of it and then i'm gonna add some first control drill see what it do spray a little water shingle all right ooh, them curls look good job i'm actually excited about this combo like this might be like my drugstore affordable combo because although melanin is a little bit more affordable it's still kind of expensive when you add everything you need up so this might be the one I like to put a little clip right there so it don't mix up with what's already there. And I'm gonna just keep repeating this process. Yeah, like I'm saying, I don't think any of these are over $8. So $24 for your styling, for your hair styling situation, is not a bad deal because normally like one product of mine is $24. My friend told me today that like I'm high maintenance. She was like, girl, you regular, you high maintenance. She was like, I hate to see if you have some money. And I'm like, uh-uh. She's like, everything you use is expensive. I'm like, I'm a quality over quantity girl. And I only wash my hair once a week. And I do protective styles in between. So it lasts a long time, but I also know that that's not in everybody's budget. And I'm all about beauty on a budget. So I like to find like cheaper alternatives. And plus, you know, sometimes I don't even want to spend the money to buy that stuff. Like I'd rather use something cheaper. So I'm not gonna talk that ear off. I'm gonna get into this hair. I'll check back with y'all when I get to the top. Curls looking real good, looking real juicy. All right, we are in the home stretch with this hair. To tangling knots and holding your arms up to take out braids. Remind me not to do those in the same day. Also, please remind me to comb out my hair because right now I'm paying for it. So again, wet this hair. I've been calling this the leave-in, but it's a three-in-one. You can leave it, use it as a conditioner, a co-wash. Yeah, regular conditioner, co-wash, or leave-in. When I tell you, it smells so good. So good, this collection. Kind of making me hungry. Like, I'm gonna do this as if I'm wearing a bang, but it shrivels up too short to be a bang. 
I'm still going to style it that way for now. I love the way my hair smells. And those curls just pop. Shingle in the front. You don't shingle nowhere else. At least how your front curls popping. I cut some pieces on the front because it was kind of straight a little bit. But I feel like they're trying to play me like that again. We didn't came too far for y'all to be playing with me like this. This is the home stretch, y'all. That's it. These roots is not it. I need to touch up these roots and I need to process those because to get this blonde right here, my hair is double processed. But because my hair fell out before, double processing it, I like to just wait. And I don't mind having three tones in my head. It's normal for me now. All right, let me take out these clips. I like to just clip my hair to separate it so it doesn't get mixed in with what I'm doing. But I can say from what I see so far, I like it. It looks good. Okay, and I'm just gonna do one more thing. This is like a completely new routine, trying all new stuff. Diva Curl has a super mousse and it's supposed to increase the volume in your hair. You can use it like wet straight out the shower, but I got a lot of hair. Um, I've also seen it used as a topper. So I'm gonna shake it up, put it in my hair pan, and kind of scrunch it all over. And it's also supposed to help with the drying time. So just do it on top of what's up, oh, clipping my head, scrunch it in there. I feel like between this mousse and that, I'll have enough of a cast. I personally like a cast on my head because that's what makes it last. I'll break it down with a little bit of oil when I'm done. But I am going to let this dry for like an hour and then I'm going to diffuse it and then I will be back. I'll let this hair sit for a while. It's pretty much dry. I'm going to finish it off with my diffuser, with my little diva curl attachment. I always take off the diffuser at the end. I feel like it just hits the roots better. Um, so this is it for the night. I'm tired y'all, it's been a long day taking out autumn braids and getting to this process and my hair getting tangled has literally drained me. Um, I'm gonna sleep on it tonight and in the morning I'm gonna stretch it and I'm gonna style it and I'm gonna come back and let y'all know how I actually like this. Cause day one hair is not always the move. I be liking like day two and three here, but the goal tomorrow is like when I stretch it and fluff it is to achieve like the day two, three look. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, so I'm back. I slept on this hair last night. So because I slept on it, it's really smushed. So I'm gonna stretch it out. I'm gonna stretch it out with bands and also with heat. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna spray the water on it to help break the cast of all the gel in the mousse. And I'm gonna put a little bit of oil, it's melanin oil on my hands to break it. I'm gonna get to stretching. The thing about stretching is you wanna stretch it in the style that you normally wear. I normally section my hair off kind of like in threes. I'll pull the top back and the sides up. So I'm gonna section that way too. The bands that I have don't have an end. I'm gonna stretch them in that way, so. You want to make sure that when you stretch it, you leave the curls out because you don't want to disrupt those. All 
All right, I know this is a real sexy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang out like this for a while. Let it sit. Spray it one more time. Get some little water. And I'm gonna come back and stress just here. Okay, so if you guys can see, I stretched it out with the bands, but then I applied a little heat while it was stretched and pulled on it for a little bit more stretching. I kept the ones in the front there because I'm gonna use those as my guide as the front to do my hair. Take my pattern pick and just pick this out. And this came a long way from what it was doing at first. And remember when you pick and when you stretch, you focusing on the roots you want to keep the curls intact. So I think I'm going to start with the middle. I'm going to clip my hair right here in the back out of the way and remove the band. And I think I thought natural hair was going to be easier. And I'm going to just pick this some, hold on to it. Just pick it, lift the roots while I'm pulling it to get the length and to not disturb the curl. Break some water in the front. Take my wet line extreme gel. Hit these roots in the front. Get that slick down. Get my some little bobby pins together. And I'm gonna take it and just kind of push it back and twist it. Hold on, take the front and twist it. Push it back. All right. That's back, that's out the way. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with the two on the other side. Just brush it up. Before I put it up, I just like to take my edge control brush, pull out my little baby hairs. Well, my little side hair. Now that that's off, I'll take my pick and just kind of blend everything together. Get that picked out. All right, and for these baby hairs, I'll take a pattern and put it on there and just swoop. My favorite, if you don't know, some of my favorite edge controls. And then what I like to do is take like a cute little pin and put it in the front right there underneath to make that even tighter so now this is the finished look I'm gonna finish getting my life together and I'll be right back to give you guys a review on how I feel about these products and if I think that that your mother's crosshawk collection is the one okay guys so this is the finished results I stretched it out, I added the heat. Um, I think I like how this came out. Like I can say I messed with this hair. It's not quite giving me day one. Stretching it and adding that heat definitely did wonders. I love that for probably under $25, you can get all three of those. And then sometimes not your mother's that have sales of like buy one, get one half off. So I feel like they are the move. I am all about beauty on the budget. That falls into my beauty budget category. Now the deeper curl stuff that don't, but not your mother's has like shampoos and conditioners and stuff too. I want to say they also have it in that line. I just bought the styling products. Um, honestly, going forward, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more deeper curl. I feel like I have really found other products that I like that work just as good, if not better, for a little bit cheaper or a lot cheaper. And for me, like that is the move right now. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that button. And with that said, you guys, I will see you next video. Mwah!